Hi Booktube, this is Roz with a um, Swift TBR for Jane Austen July because like um, a whole chunk of um, the particular corner of Booktube that, that I inhabit, um, I'm really looking forward to um, Jane Austen July and it's my first um, Jane Austen July as someone who's kind of making videos as opposed to just watching them and commenting on them. Although to be fair, I did kind of join in with Tilly of Tilly's Shelf in um, a couple uh, last year. So, Jane Austen July, I hardly need to say, is um, hosted by Katie of Books and Things and Marissa of Blatantly Bookish. And um, it's a wonderful celebration of, of all things Jane. And um, uh, there are prompts. And I'm just going to quickly say what I'm going to do for Jane Austen July um, uh, as much as anything because I'm really enjoying hearing what other booktubers are going to do and spotting where we've got similar plans and we might uh, kind of look forward to hearing how each other's getting in or getting on or joining in. Um, so prompt number one is to read one of Jane Austen's six um, main novels her, her her six novels that were kind of published in her lifetime completed and um i have read all of jane austen's novels um more than once and some of them many times um i've had plenty of time to do that in because i started reading her when i was in my teens um now um one that i haven't really read for a while is emma now, I, I know for a lot of people, um, when they're doing this, they talk about their favourite Jane Austen novel, and that's always a bit <sighs> of a kind of impossible choice, isn't it? But I would say, generally speaking, when I was in my teens and 20s, my two favourite Jane Austen novels were Pride and Prejudice and Emma, and they are the Jane Austen novels that I've read most frequently. But uh, as life's moved on, probably my favourite now I would say if pushed would be persuasion not because it's not as perfect as Pride and Prejudice or um, as kind of brilliant and funny as Emma but there's something about it that appeals to me now and then last year I reread Mansfield Park and kind of wondered actually is that my favourite however I'm looking forward to rereading Emma and seeing if that moves it back into kind of the top spot um, Emma's always been my kind of like a real favourite character um if nothing else because of her well we'll talk more about her when we reread her won't we and um I'm thrilled to bits that actually um Emma is the first read-along that um Katie and Marissa are, are, are hosting for Jane Austen July so all systems go for that one and uh I've got my copy ready uh now this copy um, is um, one that I picked up secondhand sometime, I think, in the late 90s um, because my original um, copy of Emma had been read so often that it fell to pieces. There you go. Second prompt is to read something by Jane Austen that is not one of her main six novels and um, there's some gorgeous things to choose from, like Lady Susan. If you haven't read Lady Susan, read Lady Susan. I love Lady Susan. Um but, um, and the Watsons, I enjoyed that. I ought to read Sanditon because I haven't read that, but I hate reading things that aren't finished. And at least with the Watsons, you get kind of like a roundup that pulls together um, what she'd planned to write, according to Cassandra, whereas you don't get that um, for Sanditon. So I can't quite think I can't quite bring myself to do that and instead the thing that I really fancy reading this year that I've never read is um some of her juvenilia and specifically her um little history of England so um roll on that one which is in um this collection and um I think that Hannah of Hannah's books has got that one in mind so I'll look forward to hearing what she thinks of that and just sharing some thoughts Prompt number three is read a non-fiction work about Jane Austen or her time. And I'm so excited and looking forward to my um, choice this year for that because it is Lucy Worsley, um, Jane Austen at Home. And everyone who's read this, including Katie and Marissa, I think, um, raves about it. And last year, I really enjoyed reading the John Mullen um, 
book um which and if you haven't read that one title of it's gone out of my head but i'll put it in the description and and it's it's um uh more like literary criticism um read that if you haven't um but um this is kind of like an autobiography a biography of Jane through the different places that she lived and Lucy Worsley's such an entertaining historian so um as well as knowing her stuff so that's going to be fun prompt number four is read a retelling of a Jane Austen book now I'm going to cheat slightly here but um, both Katie and Marissa have said that this cheat is acceptable because I'm going to read Miss Austen by Jill Hornby which is um not a retelling of one of her books it's a retelling of her life through kind of through the eyes of her sister Cassandra and um, I'm very much looking forward to that I think I might enjoy it more than I enjoy than I have enjoyed the retellings that I've read just because I always feel like they're set up to almost be directly compared with Jane and always fall down whereas I hope this will kind of just take me off in a slightly different direction we'll see then prompt number five is to read a book by contemporary of Jane Austen now Tilly and I have a little scheme for this because the thing that we're going to read is a play and the play we're going to read is Lover's Vows by Elizabeth Inchbold. Now the the alert amongst you who know your Austin will say that that play sounds strangely familiar and the reason it does is because it's the play that the um, the, the young people in Mansfield Park um, decide to put on while um, while the, the, the paterfamilias, the father of the household, is away and um, get into uh, a bit of trouble for having done that. Um, so Tilly and I thought it would be fun to read that play and we'll talk about it as one of our discussing drama series. So, um, And that was published in 1798, so very much in, in Jane's lifetime. It was, so she'd have been like 23 when it came out and it was like a big hit, very popular play of the day. So that's going to be different and interesting. I look forward to talking about it. Um, prompt. Oh, now that's all the reading prompts. And I have to say, that's where my heart lies um, with Jane Austen in July. But um, prompt number six is to watch a direct screen adaptation of a Jane Austen book. And I'm going to um, celebrate my rereading of Emma by watching the 2020 um, Emma film. I've heard it on good authority that it's not a bad version so um i'm looking forward to that because uh, the gwyneth paltrow one was not brilliant really it was okay but didn't quite capture emma's spirit for me um and then the final prompt is to watch a modern screen adaptation or retelling of a jane austen book and this this is the one that i'm struggling with a bit or what I may do is kind of dip into some of the um, Jane Austen retelling vlogs, um, like the Lizzie Bennet Diaries, or possibly the Mansfield Park one, which is kind of um, a bit shorter and sounds interesting. So that's my plan. If, you, if you've got an opinion about what I should do um, for this prompt and to kind of motivate me to, to not sort of ignore it... Um, feel free to um, to tell me. And uh, enjoy your Jane Austen July, everybody. And we'll be back, um, all of us, I'm sure, exchanging um, reactions, opinions and uh, enjoyment um, over the month. <laughs>